true bearings. Bearings are directions of travel. So in the same way as you'd say turn right or turn left, a bearing is if we're facing north and we need to go this way, that's a 45 degree turn from facing north and we want to travel that way. So it gives a direction related to north of where we want to travel. This is a simple compass rose diagram. We start with north at the top and the four quarters, north, east, south and west, are 90 degrees around from each one. So each quarter is another 90 degrees. Halfway between north and east, for example, is 45 degrees and it's called northeast. There are other bearings in here, north, northeast, but we don't need to worry about them. We're just doing the main points of north, east, south and west and the points in between them. And we can also give those directions as true bearings. So we're doing the true bearings and they're really important in trigonometry because we use them for navigation and working out how far we need to travel or how far we have traveled. So true bearings are given as degrees clockwise from north. And you can see that northeast could also be given as 045 degrees and for a true bearing we'd write T at the end. True bearings are given three digits so if we're missing a number at the front for 45 degrees we make it 045 and then degrees T for true. So we could talk about going northeast, or we could talk about travelling on a bearing of 045 degrees true, or 45 degrees true. So we remember, of course, each quarter of the compass is 90 degrees. And we'll have questions where we have to convert directions on a compass rose into true bearings. So I've asked you to write these as true bearings. Now some of them are really easy. We've got to go from north and around until we hit the line of the direction that we're asking for. And we're so clockwise from north always clockwise. Now this one is 70 degrees around clockwise from north. So this is 070 degrees T. That one's nice and easy. But for some of them, we'll have to add on or take away angles to get the actual angle clockwise from north. So we do it like this. Our steps are from north, go clockwise to the direction line or the bearing line. You add up any whole lots of 90 degrees. Then, work out any remaining angles and add them on. We'll go through an example where you see what I mean. And of course, degrees T. So what I mean by this Write down the true bearings. From north, we draw an angle clockwise, I'll get a different colour pen, to the bearing line. 
So that whole angle is what I need. Add up any whole lots of 90. There's one whole lot of 90 degrees there. So I've only just got 90. Work out any remaining angles in this angle that we just drew. Well, there's 90 and 40. So 90 degrees plus 40 degrees equals, add them up, 130 degrees. And then we write it, it's got to be three digits, that's already three digits, at the end of the bearing, 130 degrees true. We'll have a look at these. Sometimes they'll give the direction, the true bearing of A from O. So from here, looking north, turning clockwise. Draw in, if you can, the angle from north clockwise around to the bearing line. Now once again, this is a nice easy one. The whole angle is there, it's 40 degrees. Remembering that we've got to make it three digits, so this is 0, 4, 0 degrees true. Now here we get a little tricky. From O, look north and draw around until you touch the bearing line. Now this is the angle we want, not this one. This is what we need. Check how many full lots of 90 degrees we've got. I've got one full lot of 90 because I've got one full quarter. But I've got to work out what's left here out of this 90. So this one in here is going to be 90 degrees, take away 38 degrees. That is 52 degrees in this little bit here. We'll have to add those on now to get the full angle around. 90 degrees plus 52 degrees is going to give me 142 degrees T for true. Have a look at this next one. From O, go north. Draw all the way around to the bearing line. And I've got to get every single one of those parts of the angle. This one's 90 degrees. This one's a full quarter, so that's 90 degrees. And this bit in here is 30 degrees. So I'll have to add all of those up. 90 plus 90 plus 30. So that's 180 plus 30 is 210 degrees true. Follow these steps to change the bearing to a true bearing.